carry with you all the terrible things that people do. I don't know if I want that in my life. Lloyd's not who he says he is. And we have found a connection between him and William Rogers. I'm wanted for a crime in the United States. I was framed. He found guilty of killing a cop. It's the death penalty, no questions asked. There must be something we can do. We have no control over what happens to him after he leaves the station. You're treating him like he's already guilty? No, I'm treating him like he's a suspect in a murder. I'm arresting you under the terms of Section 41 of the Terrorism Act 2000. Someone rigged it with explosives. I've got the very strong possibility that there's another bomb being made. The flat boat was spotted moving up the coast towards an oil tanker. I've tried to contact it by radio, but he isn't answering. I've notified the CTU of a potential explosive attack on the tanker. He's turning around. Where's the explosives? What explosives? I don't see a group of climate activists killing someone. But they're not climate activists. Rogers was taking this to a new level. So why was William Rogers killed? That, I don't know. I think the only person who knows the answer to that is the person who killed him. There's someone else pulling the strings here. Everybody's tired, but we need to stay focused. I think Ali was being used more as a distraction. So it could be that neither the Mora Voyager or Stenwick Terminal is the target. So we need to draw up a list of other possible targets. Sandy, can you get on that? No problem. Billy, we're going to need to speak to Greg Flett again. It's possible he knows more about what his brother was up to than he's letting on. Right. Tosh, let's see what we can get from Ali and Caroline. Why did you take your boat into the prohibited zone? You knew that area was restricted. I was just tacking my boat up the coast. We don't have time for this. I need to know who else is involved and what the target is. Or more innocent people are going to die. Nobody's going to die. We were never going to attack a tanker or the terminal. Uh, who's this we? I meant me. You really need to start taking this seriously. Kellen, people are going to be hurt. I wouldn't be part of anything if that was the case. Oh, God. You have no idea. Do you? Well, I see it every day. Oil tankers coming and going. It is. Only a matter of time for there's another slick. One day, you will thank people for taking a stand. People like you, you mean? I didn't say that. Three people are dead. That's well, got nothing to do with me. That was to Connor. He killed Bill Rogers. Then Brad. Then he took his own life. Connor didn't kill himself. He was murdered. Let me take a look at these photographs. Look at his injuries. He was tortured before he died. He was beaten, and he was burnt, and he was cut. That's not what happened. No, that's exactly what happened. You might not want to harm people, Caroline, but there is somebody in your group who has. Maybe it was your brother, Greg. Greg's got nothing to do with this. Well, you see, we found rope from your boat at the crime scene, so one of you was involved in Brid and Connor's deaths. If you have any feelings for Connor and Brid, You'll tell us what we need to know. You're trying to trick me. 
No, we're not. We are trying to stop this person before more people get killed. And if other people do get harmed, you'll be culpable. Who's behind this? And who's been lying to you? You need to tell me who killed these people. I heard back from the US authorities about Lloyd Anderson. I've informed the Home Office that we have him in custody. They'll liaise with the FBI, so if we're not going to charge him with anything, we need to pass him on up the food chain. Mm -hmm, but he's still part of our investigation. I know, but the Home Office will want to call the shots on this. This guy's really got under your skin, hasn't he? Right, what if he's innocent? What if he's just got caught up in all of this and he ends up paying for that with his life? What makes you think he's innocent? Because the guy who gave him the watch that linked him to the crime in the first place confessed to the killings. Confessed to who? It was a jail cell confession, so the judge will throw it out and... <sighs> yeah, you can bet. It's like they've made up their minds already. I mean, what if we give them back and they execute him? I'm sorry, Jimmy, but we have to play by the rules. You more than anyone else should understand that. What are you talking about? There's no explosives on our boat. We think he might be a decoy and there's another target. Jesus. I didn't think he'd go this far. What does that mean? Ali, he was worked up about the oil companies. The council selling out, the effect they're having on the environment. I mean, we both were. But doing something like this. Did he ever mention the names Bill Rogers or Lloyd Anderson to you? No, that I can remember. What about Carl Ann Manny? No. So none of those people have been in your boat? Why would it be? It's a workplace. Because we found rope from your boat at a crime scene. But I'm just wondering how it got there. We don't have anybody on the boat. You're sure? Jamie Neary visited a few times, but, but that was... Only because he was interested in how we worked, said he might publish something about the fishing industry. Jamie Neary, has been on your boat. Aye. OK, thanks for that. Look, listen to me, Ali. Somebody stole fertiliser from the Moros night before last, and I think they're going to use it to build another bomb. So who is it? After Bill Rogers disappeared, we all felt something was wrong. Connor started to have second thoughts. That was a problem. He was building a device in the timer. It was Bill's idea to keep it on a need-to-know basis. So that if anybody got caught, nobody could give over any information. Connor had knowledge of engineering and could put the bomb together. You had your boat. Carol Ann had the information you needed on Stenwick. And Brid? Brid had access to fertilizer. I was told we'd plant a real bomb to drive the point home. And then we'd call in a warning later so they could find it. But they'd know that somebody could blow the place up if they really wanted. And you believed that? Connor knew where the explosives were. No one else. I think that's why he was tortured. And you think whoever killed him still planning a warning call? No one more. I think this time it's for real. Then who's behind it?
It's Jamie Neary, isn't it? For the record, Mr. Flett is nodding his head. In words, Ali. Out loud. It's Jamie. Jamie Neary. Okay, we know that he has a blue Mitsubishi L200 registered in his name. I'm assuming that's what we're looking for. And that he has enough explosives to cause significant damage. What we don't yet know is what the target is. Any suggestions? Harbour Authority, Western Gas Plant, Offices of Marine Incidents. Can you cover all these targets? Not really, no. I reckon there might be a way that we can narrow this down. Given his original target was Stenic Terminal, I think he'll go for one of the oil companies. Well, any idea which one? North Straits Oil. It's independent, but it's still his stake in the pipeline. And now that he knows we're onto him, it is a much softer target. What do you think? I think that makes sense. It's a risk if we call this wrong. You have a bad idea. OK. Get protection on the officers of North Straits Soil. Billy, we're going to need roadblocks in the main roads in and out of Lerick. Tosh, go and search his home and his office and see if you can find anything that points at the target. So the search warrant granted. I'll deal with the fallout. might have got a sighting of Jamie Neary near North Straits Oil. Well, if they did, then he's already in Lerick. Come on, let's go. off when he saw that we got there first. Right, so Sandy was right. This was the target. It's not anymore. Alexander, we've got a big problem. Jamie's a man that has trucked near the market cross. I'm pretty sure the homemade bomb's in the back. Don't go near it. Just clear the area, but do it quietly. I don't want to panic. We'll get a bomb disposal officer over there as soon as possible. And get Cassie out of that wine bar. Jimmy. I need to get out of the centre of town now. I don't have time to explain why. Just do it, please.
Her name was Katrina Johnson. She was killed in South Sudan five years ago while working as an anti-oil activist. If we are looking for what radicalised him, I have a feeling it was her day. OK, everybody, if you'd like to just make your way down towards the Esplanade. There's no need to panic. Keep it moving, guys. Straight ahead. Clear the area, please. It's been a gas leak. We just need to get everybody out to a safe place. Thank you. Keep it moving, guys. Straight ahead. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Gas leak? Why are you still here? You need to go now. What's going on, Alex? We have a possible explosive device near the market cross. I need you to go now. Taking that with him. Shit. Hey! He just hit my car! I think he's got something in his rucksack. What's your car registration number? It's heading south. And tell them it looks like the bomb is in a rucksack. It's not in a truck. Understood. Support units and firearms will be with you soon. Just stay on them until they catch up. Okay, he's going to Quendal Bay. 
That's where the Breer ran aground. Himself. He's got to make some kind of grand gesture. Any closer than we both die. I mean it, Perez! You want to die with me? I don't want either of us to die, even though you know what I've done. Doesn't matter what you did. Just put the device down before you hurt yourself. It doesn't have to end like this. EFU 15 has a clear shot in the suspect. Still part of it down there, did you know that? When the Brer ran aground, the people gathered here praying for the oil to disperse. When the wind took it back out to sea, they said it was a miracle, but it wasn't. It was just luck. They won't be that lucky next time. And there will be a next time. So what good will killing yourself do? Every cause needs a martyr. You won't be seen as a martyr. You'll be seen as a murderer. Have you any idea? How many activists all over the world are killed trying to protect their environments? Hundreds, every year. What, you mean like your friend Katrina? You know about Katrina? Well, she died for a cause, now you want to die for it too? I mean, is that what this is about? Because if it is, none of it was Connor's fault. Or Brid's. Those two, they were just playing at saving the world. It was all show. They didn't have what it takes. I couldn't let them ruin everything I've been working towards. Jamie, you took it way, way too far. Can you not see that? I know. But here we are. Katrina wouldn't have wanted you to do any of this. No, stop. None of it. Stop saying her name. Katrina stood up for people trying to save their land for the oil companies, and she died for it. Don't! No! online contacts. I'll call you when we're done, yeah? You're okay. I'm fine. Yeah. When I heard what happened, you could have been killed. Jamie wants to talk, but only to you. Can I talk to you later? Yeah. You and Bill Rogers manipulated that whole group of people. You lied to Carol Ann, to Ali, well, all of them. They thought it was just a stunt. Get some attention for the cause. 
but not you. You're prepared to kill for it. Well, some things are worth killing for. Look, I had no choice. Connor wanted out. After the book launch, he told me he was going to the caravan to dismantle the bomb. I couldn't let him do that. So I forced him into my car and took him a Ronan Kirk. And tortured him? I needed to know where the caravan was. And that was worth more than Connor's life? Sacrifices have to be made. So who told you that you get to decide who's sacrificed and who isn't? I'm trying to make a difference. But all you've achieved so far is that you killed your friends. I couldn't... I couldn't let Brett go to the police. So you pretended to be Connor and you tricked her into meeting you. Yeah, to make it look like Brent and Rogers were killed by the same person, then Connor's death would look like a suicide. Like the guilt drove him to take his own life. Hang on a wee minute. You had to make it look like Brent and Rogers were killed by the same person. Are you, are you trying to say that you didn't kill Bill Rogers? I never touched him. He wanted to take in the islands, so I hired a car for him. He never came back. When they found his body, I, I knew I couldn't trust anyone. And I was right. Well, you'll have a long time to think about it. Says he didn't kill Bill Rogers. What? He's telling the truth. We've got another killer out there. There you go. What is it we're looking for? I have no idea. Maybe we missed something. All we've got is the traces of paint on the suitcase. That's it. Everything else was clean. There's no fingerprints, there is no DNA. But it was artist's pain. Yes, that's right. Mary hired the car right enough. They reported it stolen on the 26th. The car company found it abandoned in a lay-by the next day. There's usually a mobile speed camera set on the road to Lloyd's place. And there it is. Heading in the direction of Lloyd's on the 26th. So that would put Bill at Lloyd's of three? Aye. Okay, Lloyd. I'm running out of options. I know who killed Connor Cairns, and I know who killed Brad Fleming because I've got the guy responsible in custody. I also know who was involved in the plan for the attack on Stenwick Terminal, but it turns out that that had nothing to do with Bill Rogers' death. So, here I am. And I'm sick of being lied to. Did you kill Bill Rogers because he recognized you? I have never killed another human being. Okay. What were you doing on the 26th of August? I was teaching one of my art classes at the community center. You can check. No, that's fine. I believe you. Bill Rogers drove up to your place on the 26th of August. Did you know that? No. You told me that you use acrylic paints. So why, why, why is that? Dries quicker, it's cheaper, I like the feel of it. Why are you asking? You told me the traces of paint you found on the suitcase were oil-based. Yeah, they were. 
So if it wasn't you, and it wasn't Jamie Neary, and it wasn't Connor Cairns who put Bill Rogers in that suitcase, and if it didn't have anything to do with what he was planning, then it had to be about protecting you, right? So, who would want to protect you? I can't answer that. I just know it wasn't me. Alison shares your studio, doesn't she? What kind of paints does she use? Acrylic. No, Lloyd, she doesn't. Alison uses oils, doesn't she? She'd have no reason to harm Bill Rogers. She didn't know anything about my past. She seemed awful sure about your innocence. Because she knows what kind of man I am. That's all. You mean that in all the years that you've been together, you never told her? No. You got it wrong, Paris. She wouldn't do that, not even to save me. You met her. Surely you can see that. I've met a lot of people who aren't what they seem. Anyway, it's not possible. She wasn't at our place. She was with her mother all that day. Can you be sure of that? You told her you'd been recognized, didn't you? You're right first time. It was me. I did it. I killed him. Too late, Lloyd. But I'm the only one with a motive. You know that. I did it. I killed him. And I told you I'm sick of being lied to. Allison. She has the motive. I'm just not sure if she was at the house when Bill was there, because Lloyd says that she was at her mother's all afternoon. Rachel and Danny Cairns are here. They're in reception. Connor tried to stop the attack. God knows what Jamie would have done with those explosives. After William Rogers disappeared, Jamie became very paranoid and Connor tried to pull him back. She'd be proud of him. Listen, Tim. Our boy did the right thing. And... And Jamie... He killed this man, Rogers, as well? No. We have another suspect for that, but obviously I can't see who at the moment. That's Lloyd, isn't it? Because Rogers recognised him. No. Lloyd is not the suspect. So somebody who is protecting him. Somebody close to him. And that is the list of suspects down, doesn't it? Danny. You have to leave this with me. It had nothing to do with Connor's death. I had everything to do with it. You said it yourself. After Rogers died, Jamie became paranoid. Alison's mother. 
I'm always there about the same time. Um, 12-ish. OK, how about later? Anybody else? Uh, hang on, the road was changed that week. Uh, I was there at 2.45. For how long? I uh, left at 3.30. It's in the notes. And was Alison there? No. OK, um... OK. She's in the canteen. If you go around the side, I'll try at the back. Alison, I need to talk to you. What is it you want to know? William Rogers came to see Lloyd on the 26th of August, around 3 p.m. Can you tell me where you were? With my mother. No, you weren't. Because Meg was. You need to stop lying to me. Tell me what happened at the studio. Okay, Alison, if it wasn't you, then it could only be Lloyd. So I'm going to be charging him with murder. He knew nothing about this. You have to believe me. Then tell me what happened. <sighs> Bill Rogers came to the house to speak to him. Um, if you're looking for Lloyd, he's not here. And you are? Alison, his partner. Can I help? Tell your husband Bill Rogers said hi. Then I know who he is and what he did. Tell him he didn't see me. I didn't see him. If he keeps it that way, everything will be fine and dandy. If not, well then he'll have to go home and face the truth. Your life together will be over. I think you know what that means. I knew exactly what that meant. No! Lloyd had told me about his past. I reacted without thinking. I hit him with all the strength I had. I don't really remember what happened next. I was an autopilot. I just knew that I had to get rid of that body as quickly as possible. And you did this all on your own? It's amazing what you can do if your whole life depends on it. I drove up to Stromness Vaux. I hoped that the tidal current would drag the suitcase out into the Atlantic. Judge me any way you want. But Lloyd is a peace-loving man. He always has been. He is he's the best soul I have met on this earth. And you... You're about to send him back to be murdered. Isn't it? I. I can't. 
believe he's gone. We'll, we'll not get to see what kind of man he becomes. It's such a waste. It's such a waste. We can't think like that. <sighs> you know what Connor would have wanted? For us to get as many people as we can to read it. You're right, darling. <laughs> so let's tell the world about it. And about Connie. He's innocent, Tosh. And he doesn't stand a chance over there. What is it you think you can do to help him? Billy. We haven't received an extradition order for Lloyd Anderson yet, have we? Not yet. But it's in the works. I'm expecting he'll be moved to the mainland within the next 48 hours. Right, but he hasn't been charged with anything here yet, has he? He has not. Then I don't know what we're holding him for, then. Do you? I think we should let him go home. It's not like he's going anywhere. Right. Well, um... I'll see you all tomorrow. Just remember, you love this job. You've got a lot to lose. Not as much as he has. Are you planning on sleeping here? I can make a bed up if you like. No, I'm fine. I won't be long. You go and go on your way. Alison confessed. We've got her in custody. She says Rogers threatened her. 
and she was frightened about what he might do. No. No. I'm sorry. You're free to go. What? You're free to go. Here's your passport. Whatever you do, you mustn't leave Shetland. And you mustn't get the early flight to Bergen. Because the last thing that I would want is for you to disappear off the face of the earth. What about Alice? There is nothing that you can do for her now. And we both know that she would want you to go. You? I don't see you as a flight risk. It's a bad call, but a genuine mistake. You think anybody's gonna believe that? I'm not sure I care. No, I can't do that. I can't turn my back on her. She did it to protect you. If you don't go, it'll all have been for nothing. But you better go now, if you're gonna catch that flight. released Lloyd Anderson from custody. He wasn't charged with anything. You know, this outstanding warrant from the States on him isn't just going to go away. He's not a flight risk. Really? Because I've just asked for him to be picked up and he's not at his home address. But I expect he knew that already. If he's gone, it's the end of your career. I know. I think it's worth it. You know, we don't always get it right. And I've learned to live with that. But this is different. Last thing I do is help an innocent man. I'm good with that. Okay. sure I can do this without you. Tosh. You're ready. Trust me. Oh, I do. I just don't have your confidence. Are you kidding on? 
Do you remember the young woman that walked in here wearing braces and <laughs> couldn't even remember the words to a caution? That's not who you are anymore. Look at you now. <laughs> After everything that you've been through, you can do this job in your sleep. Can I give you some advice then? But Meg. Meg? I'm not blind. If you think she's the one, tell her. Otherwise, you'll lose her. It's true then. Hi. Nobody knows this place better than you. You'll be fine. And Billy will keep you right. Won't you, Billy? That's right. Keep answering those phones, pal. Keep an eye on them. I will. Thanks for coming. I, I don't have much time. I've got a late shift. OK, well, then I'll keep it short. Yesterday, when I knew that you were in danger and that I might never see you again, I realised how much you meant to me. And that's pretty much Everything. And I felt like that for a while now, but I didn't know what to do with the feelings. So I just put them in a box and stuck a lid on it. Uh, until now. You sure this isn't Florence Nightingale syndrome flaring up again, Jimmy? No. I'm amazed how I feel. I never thought for a second that I'd get to feel like this again. I thought about what happened yesterday too. You putting yourself in harm's way like that. It seemed to me to be the actions of a man who didn't care about himself or his future. Brave, yeah, sure, but reckless. And that is scary because... Because a world without Jimmy Perez isn't one that I want to live in. But I know that doing what you do in your work is what you live for. It isn't anymore. 
I have quit. I hope you didn't do that for me. No, no. I just didn't want to hide in that police station anymore. Pretty sure I fell for you the first time that I saw you. Do you mean the second time though? Because you didn't remember the oh first God, time. God, <laughs> you're just never gonna let me live it down, are no. you? Shetland will return next year for a new series.